Johnny, we're, we're actually inside the garage, which is uh, beneath the solar panels. So what we've done is, of course, this is conduit, which contains the conductors from the solar panels, which is very high voltage DC. Um, here's a DC disconnect. So if you wanted to um, remove uh, uh, any power entering this uh, inverter, it's a grid tied inverter, we could flip that switch. Um, one of the things that I'll show you as we go back outside is that we're going to invert this DC power to AC power. We're going to come out of here. You might notice on the exterior of this building is a, uh, a, an additional disconnect which would allow someone from the exterior to disable the solar array. That's generally a code requirement for fire protection to allow people um, any firefighter or emergency uh, personnel to be able to decommission the system without entering the structure. Uh, but this is a grid tied inverter. And so what it does is it takes the production of the solar panels, it converts it to AC power, which is the power that everyone has in their home. Um, and we actually uh, connect it to uh, this sub panel, which is connected underground to the main house uh, panel and in that way we have what's called a grid tied system which would allow uh, anyone to uh, seamlessly integrate solar power into their lifestyle. Um, what it does is essentially um, always uh, power the house's central panel. If you are consuming uh, energy inside your house, electrical energy uh, in, in, uh, in excess of what you are producing, you would actually sell your power back to the utility. It would travel through your utility meter and, and you, would, uh, you would get credits that way. The most typical um, scenario is that you're producing power and you're actually consuming it on site. And the, the fact that you're um, consuming electricity that you're producing on site means you're not paying the utility, you're not buying it from the utility. So those are, that's the primary um, way that you would save money, uh, that you would recognize revenue off of a solar power system. There are a couple other ways that you can recognize revenue too, one being solar renewable energy credits. Um, this is the electrical sub panel, it's relatively straightforward, but we're taking the output from the inverter and we're actually back feeding a very typical double pole breaker. In this case, it's a 30 amp breaker um, with 4.32 kilowatts, 4,320 uh, watts of panels or 24 panels times 180 watts, which is their rating. Those are all ex same, the same way to quantify the potential output of the solar array. The inverter converts it to AC, which is comparable. In fact, it's identical to the electricity that these customers purchase from the utility. And we simply um, have a, a very efficient and effective way to make it available for their own use or for, if they don't need it, to send it right back into the utility line where it's likely to be consumed by their neighbors. Uh, the output of the system currently on this beautiful sunny day in November is 3,627 watts. Um, it's a 4.32 kilowatt system. Right off the top of my head, I can say that's about 80% of the rating of the panels above. That is optimal um, because we're going to um, uh, have to reduce the potential output of the panels um, because of temperature because of uh, possibly dirt on the panels, because of losses in transferring the power, line losses, because of inefficiencies in the inverter operation, which is about 4%. Um, so we're gonna have various ways in which, um, even though we have 4,320 watts of panels on there, oh, and of course I've left out the last and most important, which is um, right now, because we're in the winter, the, the sun, even though it's very bright and clear, is actually not perpendicular to the face of the panels. It's actually slightly lower than perpendicular. Uh, the panels are rated so that they could produce that 180 watts per panel with everything being perfect, um, which is likely to be um, around uh, September, early September, 
um, when the sun in the sky is perfectly perpendicular to the panels. Um, so everything, as I mentioned earlier, is a compromise. But the current production of the panels uh, right now is just really ideal. Uh, I'm really happy with this production at this moment because uh, it means that everything is operating uh, at really optimal design specifications.